A man in the middle attack. And this is where a hacker intercepts and modifies the communication between the user and a multi-factor authentication server. This allows hackers to capture your credentials. Even worse, it allows them to capture the token that allows Microsoft or Google to say, trust this device. And in that process of saying, yes, keep me logged in. And when that token's created, it's transmitted back to the computer of the user. So it could be stored on that device. The token is sent to the user's device. I can then inject it into a request that will send this token in the browser to the server and the server will say, oh, hey, it's Brian's computer. I trust you. I'm going to allow you in. I didn't have to type in my username. I didn't have to type in my password and I didn't get challenged with a multi-factor authentication token in order to gain access to this person's email account.